Welcome back, another edition of sauerkraut in the kitchen. Uh, we have another beautiful recipe. We'll take 10, 15 minutes only at home. The summer Buddha ball created by our dear friend Renz Cruz. It's with tempeh, it's with purple rain kraut, uh, golden kraut, lots of beautiful plants and uh, a tahini vinaigrette. First step you start off is your sweet potatoes. You chop them into cubes. If you choose organic sweet potatoes, please feel free to leave the peel on. Uh, it doesn't do you any harm and it adds nutrition. We already prepared that for you. And then we blanch it shortly in water and salt for a while to make them al dente. The second part is cooking quinoa. Quinoa is very easy to cook. You boil water, you put your quinoa into a cooking pot, you add the boiling salt water, and then you cook it for another five to 10 minutes until the corn is kind of al dente, crunchy. We already prepared that as well. <laughs> Our dear friends from Bumi have created a wonderful tempeh from lupines. Uh, it's a European plant, we don't have to import any soy, and the nutritional value is amazing with 20 grams of protein uh, per 100 gram. The tempeh is pre-marinated, so you only have to flip it into a pan of hot oil and let it simmer for a bit. While the bumi is in the pan, we start with our super easy tahin vinaigrette. In this case, you need a bowl, you need two tablespoons of tahin. Stir it a bit before putting it in, so the texture gets more creamy. Half a lemon juice. And sesame oil. Two tablespoons. Okay. Some salt and pepper. Pinch. Pepper. And a little secret if you want to add some color to that. Grab your jar of purple rain sauerkraut. Come in with some of the juice. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Mm. So you added lactic acid bacteria into your vinegar. Isn't that amazing? The bumi is grilling. The vinegar is done. And before we serve it, I would like to invite our dietitian, Michelle, into the kitchen once again to talk about fermented food during pregnancy because our dear friend Renz Cruz is pregnant and we supply her with trout and fermented veggies. And we often get the question, are you even allowed to eat raw fermented vegetables? Yeah, yeah. we do get a lot of questions about that. And we also wrote an article about why it's so important to eat fermented food during the pregnancy. And we will write an article about it to uh, why it is safe to use. You said also earlier, like it's because of the uh, unpasteurized and that is important with milky products or everything animal products because of their the other types of bacteria that can be harmful for the baby but with uh, the fermentation process there are no harmful bacteria in in lacto fermentation exactly. with plants yeah with plants exactly. so to sum up you have to be aware meat dairy yeah. fermented products yeah. raw yeah don't fingers off it. don't do it but, but vegetables, plants, vegetables, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Yeah. And if you want to be sure, ask your doctor. Ask your doctor. Yeah. Go to your midwife. Ask your doctor. And maybe you're super sensitive to some fermentation yeah. or to some products. But in general, actually, it's even more positive to include it into your diet. Definitely, and especially also to build up the microbiome for your baby, your unborn child. And when it, when you give birth to the baby. And uh, the baby will get some bacteria of you with it, and that is the first beginning of your diverse microbiome. Mm. So it's really important to maintain a good microbiome during, during pregnancy, pregnancy and, and after. breastfeeding. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, that's an opinion. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> Final step. Let's finish the bowl. And this one is at least for two persons. So we're gonna add the quinoa, freshly cooked, our leafy greens. Our sweet potatoes. The marinated tempeh. That's the base, the foundation. And uh, Renz has chosen as her favorites the purple rain kraut as well as the golden kraut. Purple rain with fennel and apple, and golden kraut with apricots, apple, and turmeric. And additionally to that, 
many plant-based people on a plant-based diet prefer as a fat component avocado and that's a choice you can make alternatively fava mole fermented fava beans or a little bit of salsa on top you can vary vary with the flavors um, i leave that up to you guys what we definitely want to add is a beautiful purple rain tahin vinaigrette Thanks Rance for this amazing inspirational recipe, perfect for the summer. Thanks Lisa for cooking with me. You're welcome. Uh, thanks to the crowd for listening and watching. And now it's just time to enjoy. enjoy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah?